the light your way it's Colleen Shade. welcome to another lock video ladies and gentlemen I wanted to get one last good Bantu knot styled in before it got too cold and I start wrapping my hair up for the winter to try to protect it and keep it from getting too dry so I figured now is the time it's not super brittle where we are just yet I mean it is getting cold it's getting a lot cooler actually but I'm still good with this for now so keep watching if you want to see how I style my Bantu knots. Now, I'm not really big on parting on this channel. I'm not, well, with my set of lock, I'm not really big on whether or not rubber bands show my hair is really dark. So from afar, you can't see it. But if you get up on me, then you'll see the rubber bands. I really don't care about that. If you don't like it, one thing that you can do that's super cute is to get you some lock jewelry and just clamp it around where the rubber bands are. As a matter of fact, I may do that. In a couple of videos, you might see these band twos with some lock jewelry, just to kind of show you. All right, I hope you enjoy. So let's talk about how the center of your hand holds a lot of heat, energy, um, healing, warmth, whatever you want to call it. So anyway, best way to melt down that coconut oil naturally and quickly is just put it in the palm of your hand and just hold your hands together. It's going to melt so fast. I'm just showing you here. And I had an awful lot. So I'm moving it around just so that it doesn't slip all over onto the floor and in the sink. But yep. So you just saw me kind of prep my hair to do these Bantu. We are doing Bantu knots on these thick locks. Now, if you watched my lock journey video, and I'm just still um, adding a little coconut oil, but if you watch my thick lock journey, you know that for a while, Bantu's were my go-to uh, to retwist my hair. And um, I washed my hair a little earlier, and so it's still kind of damp. So if you're going to be doing this style based off of what I'm doing now, wet your hair either with like just spraying it or wet your hands and make sure that your hair is damp. Now, sis or bro, you do not want your hair to be soaking wet because it can mildew whenever the locks are really thick um, and you like style it or tighten it or twist it down like that so that it can't really get dry it can cause it to mildew and smell bad so be mindful of that so damp not soaking wet the products that you'll need um just a sealant to seal in the moisture after you moisturize your hair as you saw i am using today the organic coconut oil and it looks like this toothbrush or whatever you use to lay your edges also black rubber bands i'm going to be using just the equate brand and that's walmart walmart so I think this was maybe $2. So, here we go. As I style these, I am going to chat it up with y'all. We are going to be chatting. I'll tell you a little bit about what I'm doing and uh, all of that jazz. So I like to start in the front because I can manage like how I want the Bantus to look because I am going to wear them as a style for a few days before I do my Bantu night out, which will be a whole other video. All right, so I'm just taking a look at my scalp. And like I said, I'm not really big on parts, but when I do certain styles, I do like to kind of finagle a little bit and make sure that, first of all, I'm not taking from a lock, but that my parts or my scalp is halfway decent, right? And so then I just twist my hair now. I do not twist my roots tight because as you twist the rest of the lock, it's going to tighten up the roots anyway. So I just get the roots going in that direction. And sometimes I'll even hold right here so that it doesn't tighten up my root too much. And I just, let me try to show you that again. Um, so I'm holding here so my root doesn't tighten anymore. And I'm just twisting the actual lock and bringing it around under itself and twisting and bringing it 
And again, holding it so that it doesn't continue to twist that way right at the root and just bringing that around. Now again, one of the perks of me starting with the heat damage ends is that some of them are still straight and I could use it for styling. So I could technically just wrap that straight hair around and it would hold it just fine. But I am going to secure it with a band, so let's do that. Whoop, just popped my finger. No, it did. Yes, it did, girl. Yes, it did. So I'm just going to secure that around just like one time. And I don't mind if my rubber band show, so I don't do all of that trying to hide the rubber band. But it does, I mean, you can't really see it. So, and that's it, and that's all. And that's it, and that's all, ladies and gentlemen. So, once again, let me show you again. Uh-oh, that coconut oil is trying to build up right there. Separate enough so that your scalp looks decent. If you're into parts, then boo, go ahead and part your hair. There's nothing wrong with that. And back here, separate it enough. Make sure you have enough oil on your hands. Y'all see how shiny my hands are? And, uh I'll twist the roots just a little bit, and then I'm going to keep my hand there. And when you have these fuzzies, y'all see those fuzzies poking out? Just wrap that around without twisting the root, and then you can go ahead and twist that thing on down. And again, you're holding your root so it's not too tight. All right. Twist under. Hold the, the knot so that it doesn't continue to twist your roots. You want those roots to stay pretty strong because um, they've got some weight to hold as your hair grows. Right now, my locks are not heavy at all, but I do hear from a lot of ladies that that changes as they get longer. So keep those roots nice and strong. And again, just wrapping that band around one time. And yeah. So that's the method, and now we just chat. So I wanted to talk to you all, let's see, I wanted to kind of, I guess, do a get to know me, if you will. I know that you all know that I have kind of tried to set my channel up for lock videos, for home decor, and for fashion. Now, my home decor ladies don't go anywhere. I've got stuff coming for, what is it, Vlogmas? I've got stuff coming for Vlogmas. Don't go anywhere. Um, and then same for my fashion girls. I, I haven't even done a fashion video yet, so I don't even know if it's fair for me to say that at this point. It's like, at this point, sis, don't even say anything until it's here. But yeah, more to come, I promise. I've got big plans for the new year. So let's see, what do you all want to know about me? What is there to know? I'm trying to think what I would want to know about a YouTuber if they're newer and I've decided to either watch their channel or I've decided to rock with them and subscribe and turn on that notification bell. Oh yeah, no, I want to know stuff about your life. So one thing, first things first, I am a single mom. I have three boys and Just in the right way. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. So let's talk about what I do. Because YouTube, of course, y'all know good and well with what? Less than a thousand subscribers and less than four thousand hours of watch time. You are not monetized on YouTube. So <laughs> Y'all have to know that your girl has a job, right? I, I work in learning and development and I am a certified instructional designer through Langevin is the name of the organization through which I, I got my certification. But for now I am in the classroom, not in, cause it's a virtual situation right now, but I am a facilitator, I teach hard skills or technical skills or this is how you do your job both from a customer service perspective as well as leadership and like systems systemic trainings so that's awesome I love what I do I also teach professional development courses and I started my career 
in learning and development with Ralph Lauren organization. I was with Ralph Lauren for 10 and a half years and um, love working for that organization. Life brought me to Charlotte and therefore, I mean, there was a lot more to it than that, but therefore I'm not with Ralph Lauren anymore. Um, so I work for a, yet another Fortune 500 company. Actually, this one's Fortune 300. So whoop, whoop. You gotta know how to pick your jobs. You gotta know how to pick your organization. It's just like you gotta pick your men right, which clearly I'm a single mother. So I, oh. next one, the next one. Anyway, um, yeah. So that's what I do for a living. So if you want to know anything about your professional career, how to get a job, how to start looking for a job, how to make sure your resume is seen, how to interview, how to go from being someone's peer to their leader, how to be a servant leader, how to take emotional intelligence and let it help you soar at work, how to understand people from a social style perspective and not she got a bad attitude, this is how he is, this is how she is. But understanding that there are four different social styles, so no matter which social style you have, 75% of people are different than you. Like, all of those things are so important to understand and work. All right, y'all, I'm nerd now. I'm done with that conversation. So, again, that's what I do for work. Yep. What else would you all like to know? Hmm, what else would I want to know about someone? Because y'all have not dropped any questions. But since I'm doing this, if you have questions, certain questions that I don't answer in this video, then drop them in the comments below. Below. Oh, I would want to know where people are from. So I am a true Carolina girl. I was born in South Carolina. So if you are in South Carolina or were born in South Carolina, Go ahead and drop an SC in the comments. I, my father's family is from South Carolina. My mom's family is from North Carolina. So I have been back and forth. Um, I, I was back and forth, I should say, growing up. And now I'm in North Carolina. I've been in North Carolina since 2001. I'm just using the same method all the way around. I haven't done this side yet because I'm not sure if I want to try to like, you know, create my same side part if I just won't fan two knots all around. I think all around. Cue the music and let's do this head. subscribers because I am doing the giveaway if you don't know the details of the hundred subscriber giveaway just check out my um, video who masked the UNCG I'm oh, sorry UNCG that's where I went to school by the way another fact but um, who masked the UNC Charlotte statues I put in the uh, giveaway information there and also for vlogmas there will be giveaways I don't know which, I don't know which video yet. So you just have to watch them all. And videos is what I mean, because there'll be more than one giveaway during the holidays. You need to give and receive. Um, and yeah, 
I plan on doing both. How about you, sis, brother, lady, gentleman? How about you? If it wasn't for the fact that the pandemic is picking back up, per the news, per the reports, hospitalization, and other things, if you've been impacted or know someone who has been or even lost their lives, my condolences go out for real. But if it wasn't so bad, I would go and get a, you know, a gentle little shape up. Not a line, but just remove some of this hair. But um, a barbershop scene at this point for me is a little bit too intimate for that. No, no, no. We'll just put some earrings on it and it'll be okay, girl. So I'm going to get this face together. Okay. All right. So, yep. Was not about to do a full face. I have to go out and run some errands. So, you know, we're going to be masked up. But I did my eyes, honey a little bit on the brows. One place that I need to go is Ulta. Ladies and gentlemen, the Can't Stop Won't Stop Primer. I can't use it. It's My skin is reacting to it negatively. I don't know why because it is, I mean, if you if it doesn't irritate your skin, it's pretty good stuff. It's going to hold. It holds my eyebrows so they don't start trying to slip and slide off my face. Um, and it holds my primer or whatever I'm wearing very well, but my face kind of itches when I wear it. So that's a no. Oh, I also wanted to give y'all an update. That Dove Anti-Itch Shampoo didn't work for me either. So I'm back to just Dr. Bronner's, okay? Lock up day, back to Dr. Bronner's. We're not doing anything that's not going to work for us. So, so just realize that everything that you use, especially if it's the first time, you got to test it out. It might be hit. It might be a miss. It might be hit. It might be a miss. could be hit or miss. Hair is tied up to kind of manage the fuzzies. And now it's time to get dressed, so let's. Hey, so I have not had my hair wrapped very long and I will probably wrap it back up after this shot, to be honest, but I wanted to show you the hair with the fit. Cool. And of course, I did not, you know, do anything because I'm gonna have on a mask. Y'all want to see it with the mask? Should we go there? Hold on one second. Y'all, I forgot to lay my edges. I was about to go, but I forgot to lay my edges. Mm-mm-mm. Y'all were just going to let me be out there in the streets. It's just crazy. Now, y'all know how I am. I don't really like to put this in my locks, so I just use whatever hair is already out. Do my little coilies on the side. I don't try to pull hair. I don't try to put, get this to go into a lot. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. Only the hair that is there. When you're laying your edges, please don't tie your hair up too soon. Your edges will stick to the hair scarf, and then when you take the hair scarf off, you're going to lift up your edges. I mean, Okay. And then uh, it was a little sloppy, so I'm gonna take off this excess. Don't need that on my on my forehead, on my skin. Okay, now let me show you with the mask. And if you are one of my home decor girls, 
I got you, I promise. We got some fun stuff coming up for Vlogmas. If you are wanting to see fashion videos, I really haven't shot one yet, but I got you ladies too. Let me know what you'd like to see. I'd be more than happy to take video recommendations because you all are my audience. I wanna make videos that you wanna see. I've said enough and now I'll let you all go. I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks again for watching. Bye.